Hello my fellow Americans, tis I the Rumpel One. Uh, so much going on with the politics in this country. You know, the gay thing, the women thing, the social unrest. But, you know, the cops shooting unarmed citizens. But what I want to talk about today, something a little different. I guess Gwyneth Paltrow wanted to bring the food stamp issue to the forefront and that you know based on what she would get as I guess as a adult she'd get about $29 a week in food stamps so she went to the store and showed how little food she should get now some people took issue with what she bought because she says, you know, if you're that poor, you're not going to be spending money on limes and a couple of the other things. I guess maybe she went to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or one of them, you know, fancy organic type places. But I think that might be, there might be some valid points there and we can discuss them later. But let's look at what she's talking about. I think the question, the whole story misses the point because it assumes that the person is there. They have to get this handout from the government in the form of food stamps. It doesn't say anything about what this person could do for themselves. And what I mean by that is there's no reason they can't grow some of their own food. I mean, if you've been watching my videos, you've seen I built planters out of pallets, but you don't even have to build planters. I mean, you can dig up the ground. You can buy a bag of potting soil, just slit, put some slits in it, and just put the seeds in it right there. But it doesn't address that. I mean, back in my grandparents' day, and they had a farm. Then, you know, they came and moved to the city, but in their backyard, they always had a garden. They had something growing in the windowsill. They had something growing alongside the house. They had something growing on the plot. My grandparents weren't rich. That's for sure. But the thing is, back then, people didn't want handouts. They, they had something called self-respect. They had pride. They would bust their hump 16 hours a day before they'd stand in line to get a handout. But somehow they got lost. When you've got the government giving people food stamps, And not doing anything to say, hey, here's some food stamps, but hey, here's some other things you can do. It makes people think that, hey, they just need to stand in line and get their food stamps. But I guess they don't have to stand in line anymore. You go there, you sign up, and you get a card instead of actually getting actual food stamps. And every beginning of the month, it gets recharged, so you go to the grocery store. But I mean, it's crazy. But then again, let's go back to what Gwyneth had to say. $29 a week. Not enough to eat. Well, I look at it a little bit differently. You can get a five pound bag of beans for about $5. You can get a five pound bag of rice for say somewhere around four dollars so that's nine dollars out of the 29 so now you got 20 left you can get a can of tuna fish or chicken for a dollar a can so let's say you buy seven cans that's seven dollars so now you're down to 13 okay I like bananas I get a bunch of bananas it cost me two bucks what brings me down to 11. Bread. Might want to make some sandwiches. Or just have my daily bread. You can get a loaf of bread for what? $3? Who 
What's that bring me down to? Eight? Well, right there. You could buy a head of lettuce for a couple of bucks. Buy a pack of cheese for a dollar. You get my drift? Now. Oh, don't forget, buy a bag of apples for three bucks and a sack of potatoes for a couple. Now, and we're talking to what? Five or ten pound bag of potatoes. That's a lot of food. Now, somebody might say, well, that's not all healthy choices. You know, one head of lettuce, you might need some more vegetables, but you can mix and match. And the thing is, is when you get these food stamps, you don't just get $29 every week. You get four times that for the month. So I think with some smart shopping, catching sales, buying in bulk, I think you could pretty much feed yourself, especially if you get off your haunches and get a little dirty and have your own garden. Didn't even say anything about raising chickens for eggs and meat. But yeah, I know that'd be kind of tough in the city to raise chickens, but especially if you lived in an apartment. But if you got a balcony, you could put some five gallon buckets out there, grow some tomatoes, lettuce. You can even grow it inside. I'm sure you have a window. So my point is, is that when we've got these people who have, you know, millions or hundreds of thousands of, of people following them on Twitter and Facebook, and they make these statements, I think it sends the wrong message. I think we need to send the message that, hey, you know what? You can do it. You can take care of yourself. Say so it might take some effort. You might have to sweat. You might have to get dirty. But you don't have to starve. Not in this country. I mean, nobody, I'm not even talking about hunting and fishing because I'll just assume you live in the city and you don't have any way to get out to the country to get do your hunting and fishing. But to me, that whole issue is just wrong. And the other thing I'd like to talk about for a few minutes here is all these people making these comparisons between Democrats and Republicans that are basically false dichotomies. You know, you talk, people just want to down the Republicans, you know, because they're about their morality, you know, about people rights instead of gay rights and things like that. But then you got the Democrats, on the other hand, who just want to cram everything down your throat. And so you'll see these things while you... You know, the, the Democrats want to do this, the Republicans want to do that, where they're trying to make one look better than the other, when the thing is, is in both cases, they're both wrong. You know, oh, the Republicans want to do this, but the Democrats don't. Well, yeah, but then you can always, you know, flip the script and, and bring something else in the mix. And somebody says there's no such thing as Republicans and Democrats. You know, it's basically business against the rest of us, because politics has become big business with billions of dollars being spent on campaigns, where if you put that in something else like roads, schools, health care, that'd be a much better way to spend the money. So anyway, my fellow Americans, as always, it is time to wake up and smell the hypocrisy.